my friends, and welcome to The Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd. A little late with the show, but we're still here reporting the news and fighting for smokers' rights. We had some computer issues last week, so our show was delayed. But with those problems resolved, we're back on track. So, what'd we miss? Well, <clears throat> we're going to talk about another ridiculous vendetta against smoking, this time on the big screen. But let's start with bans on college campuses and seemingly contradictory articles written for the James Madison College website. One of these stories claiming that schools have the right to ban smoking on their property, and the other stating that James Madison plans to remain smoker friendly. Across the United States, more than 500 schools have banned smoking on campus in some form or another, including the universities of Florida, Michigan, and Kentucky. But just because a school may be within its legal right to ban smoking, does it make it the right thing to do? College is a time when young people are growing into the adults of tomorrow. What will they take away from a university that makes the decision to try to regulate human behavior? What lessons are learned at an institution for higher education that takes it upon themselves to decide what is morally right and wrong for these young people who are old enough to make the decisions for themselves? Let me ask you this, are there rules against having a beer on campus if a student is over 21? Is there a no sex in your dorm room policy in place? And if so, who the hell gets to enforce that? If no state laws are being broken, then why would anyone in their right mind believe that a more restrictive environment will lead to a better educational experience? Sure, college is a time when you acquire the skills to help you function in society and following rules goes along with that, but society has not banned smoking altogether. Why give college students just one more reason to rage against the establishment? And if all this weren't ridiculous enough, now comes word that the British Medical Journey wants all movies that have people smoking in them to get an automatic rating restricting them to an audience of 18 and older. Mind you, it's still okay to drop a few four-letter words, show a little skin, make some sexual references, and throw someone down a flight of stairs. Just don't let little Billy see Gandalf token on a pipe in Lord of the Rings. What's next? Giving Superman an R rating just because some kid may put on a cape and jump off his roof? Hey, don't think it couldn't happen. cover one last story and then wrap the show up, I wanted to let you all know that I plan on having an interview on our next program. A friend of mine who watches this show knows a young lady who's been trying to quit smoking for a while now, and her method of choice is electronic cigarettes. I want to catch up with her, sit down, talk about her experiences, what she likes and doesn't like, and how effective these e-cigs are in helping her achieve her goals. So if you've been considering e-cigarettes for any reason, maybe simply as an alternative for when you can't physically light up, then I hope our next show sounds interesting to you. And if you have any feedback or suggestions, you can always drop me an email or send me a video via our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the smoke report. Don't be afraid to tell me what I could be doing better either. Lastly, I wanted to take a moment to give a big thumbs up to Tim Slagle, and I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, who wrote a great article for BigGovernment.com where he slammed smoking bans and the crusading politicians who keep pushing them. Now, I don't consider myself a Republican or a Democrat. I have a more mixed up view of our government based on a silly little piece of paper called the U.S. Constitution. 
a piece of paper many people in Washington seem to have forgotten. A little piece of paper which guarantees us, the American people, something called the right to pursue happiness. And this thought is the gist of what Mr. Slagle is pointing out when it comes to smokers' rights. Hey, I enjoyed the read and I thought you would too. However, the URL of this article is a bit long and complicated to repeat or type on the screen, so I took the liberty of linking to it in the descriptive narrative of this video. Just get down there and click it. I hope you all enjoyed this show. I look forward to hearing your comments and seeing you back on the next installment of The Smoke Report.